What's up guys, this is your girl Lady Still coming at you with another video. So this topic I'll be discussing will be a topic that, you know, I really don't hear people talking about. So the Steelers, they're known for uh, two things. They're known for their amazing defense and also their running game. And um, some will say the reason why this season went bad was because of coaching, personnel, players, COVID, no. The main reason why the Steelers did not have a successful season this se season was because the Steelers lost their identity. Like I said, the Steelers are known for having an amazing defense and having a great running game. And everybody knows that this season our running game was awful. Then it became non-existent. To where we to where we basically completely abandoned it. And I'm like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Not staying true to tradition, not staying true to who the Steelers are. That's the reason why our season went downhill is because the Steelers lost their identity. It's already bad enough that uh, defense got banged up with the loss of Bush and uh, Bud Dupree, but our run game became non-existent. And part of the reason why the uh, running game struggled was because, number one, our offensive line is old. And it's getting a little bit washed up. And two, James Conner really hasn't been that reliable. James Conner, you know, he's a good feel-good story. But, you know, at the end of the day, he just hasn't been cutting it for real. You know, over the years, uh, the Steelers' identity has been number one, the defense, defense that still curtain, Elsie Greenwood, Mean Joe Green, uh, to, to name in the 70s. Then you had the 2000s where you had James Harrison, Lamar Woodley. Then today you have T.J. Watt and Bud Dupree, Devin Bush, you name it. And then the running, running game back in the day, Franco Harris. In the early 2000s, uh, Jerome Bettis, Willie Parker. You know, um, I started watching football, and one of the first running backs I saw was Jerome Bettis playing. And I was like, wow, this guy is amazing. And basically, those, those years we won the Super Bowl, we had a good defense and a good running game, and this season, for some reason, we completely went off course, lost our identity, and that ruined us. So what the Steelers need to do in the off season is to get uh, their identity back, starting by fixing the run game and how they're going to fix the run game. You know, like I said before, offensive line is getting old. So what do you do? You pack up that O-line, get younger on the O-line, get healthier. And then number two, obviously finding a running back for the Steelers, a running back by a committee always worked. And as far as defense, getting healthier on defense, healing up on defense, so by uh, next season, we'll be ready to roll. But anyway, uh... Whether it's sports or whether it's life in general, always stick true to your guns and always remain who you are by sticking to your identity. You know, and, that, and that's all that really matters. Don't lose yourself. You lose your identity, you lose yourself. You know, you lose your heart. That goes with sports and that also goes with life. Like I said before, Steelers just got a little tweaks that they got to make, you know. Steelers are already making moves this offseason. 
by uh, getting uh, rid of some coaches. But other than that, you know, them getting rid of some coaches and them uh, finding their identity is all they really need to do. And I believe my Steelers will get their identity back. And we're going to do great next season. But anyway, that's all I got to say right now. I have some more ideas and content coming to you soon. Also, your girl has a birthday coming up. So I'm definitely excited about that. But anyway, this is a girl lady still checking up on out of here. Go Steelers. Go Steeler Nation. Peace.